Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Radical Rundown. I'm Brian Bukosh, Core Design Engineer for Brunswick Bowling, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the benchmark shape core designs in the Radical lineup currently. Right here we have our old favorite that's in the new conspiracy scheme. This is the original conspiracy core that was in the black conspiracy and the other conspiracy line balls. In the middle we have the core shape that was in the incognito and in the informer series, and here we have our brand new Bigfoot core that we just talked about in the previous Radical Rundown. You can see these core designs kind of have an evolution. They all look a little bit like each other. And this one is the oldest core in the lineup, and you can see that before the scoop technology and before the knob technology that went into the newer core designs in the Radical lineup, they used this tier top technology. And what this did, similar to the knob technology, this allowed you to miss some of the inner core material and maintain the differential after drilling when you drilled the fingers into the top of the core. And of course, from there, it advanced into what we now know as the knob technology on top of the informer core and the Bigfoot core. This is the scheme core, and it has the most total diff and the most intermediate diff as an undrilled ball. It has a total differential of 056 and an intermediate differential of 021. You'll notice that it has the most intermediate diff because the ratio of the axes in this direction to this direction gives it the most oblong shape. Now because there's more core material at the top of this core relative to the cores that have the knobs built into them, that means that your fingers are going to hit more core at the top here. That means, relatively speaking, the thumb isn't removing as much mass, relatively speaking, as it is finger mass, so that you're not going to drive the differential up in the undrilled ball as much as you would in these other two. So relatively speaking, this is a very stable, very predictable core, and the differentials, both the intermediate and the total differential, stay around the same area as they would as the undrilled ball. In other words, you're not going to get as big of a difference in performance when you modify the layouts from one to another on this ball, but that makes it a steady, consistent, smooth benchmark performer. Moving over to the incognito, although this one has less total diff and less intermediate diff undrilled at 053 and 017, because of the knob at the top, it makes it a little more dynamic. Primarily, when you drill a pin-up ball, you're not removing too much inner core mass with the fingers, and thus, the ratio of the mass that you're removing is more out of the thumb. That makes the core skinnier because you're taking it out of the thumb, and it drives the differential up. If you're using a drilling angle that puts the thumb in the front of the core, in this orientation, then because you're removing more thumb mass than finger mass, that also drives up the intermediate diff, because again, you're making the core narrower in this dimension. That gives you more intermediate diff and a little more drive off the spot. So overall, this shape is going to be a little more late and a little more strong off the back of the pattern when compared to a more smooth motion with a stronger intermediate diff and a stronger mid lane read that you get out of the conspiracy scheme. Now moving over, we have a Bigfoot. This is technically a symmetrical core, but you can see that they are very related in core design. These cores were co-developed, and you can see that the shape of the core bodies are relatively the same, except for the moment arms on all four sides of the Bigfoot core. What's unique about the Bigfoot, in terms of intermediate diff, is that if you choose a drilling angle, such as 70 degrees or so, that puts your thumb directly through one of these moment arms, what you're going to end up with is a ball that goes from zero intermediate diff before drilling to about a 20 intermediate diff after drilling. That's really unique for a symmetrical core because on average you get about 10 to 12 points of intermediate diff when you drill into it with a pinup layout. So this, in a way, kind of becomes a bridge ball. It's kind of a, between a symmetrical ball and an asymmetrical ball when you put a pinup layout on it with a long drilling angle. What that's going to do is it's going to give you more shape at the back of the lane than you anticipate out of a symmetrical ball, but it's still not going to be quite as strong off the spot as one of these asymmetrical balls. So in a way, you have a nice three-tiered arsenal, where you have the most mid-lane and smoothest motion out of the conspiracy scheme, a slightly later, slightly stronger breakpoint out of balls like the Informer and the Incognito series, and a long and arcing motion out of the Bigfoot with a little more kick at the back of the lane than a typical symmetrical ball. That's all the information we have on this Radical Rundown, where we talked both about the history of the progression of the modeling of these new Radical cores, but also the progression in your arsenal and how they work for you on the lanes. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Make sure you check us out at Radical Bowling on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And until next time, I'll see you on the next Radical Rundown.